All right, what's happening? In today's video, we're going to clean my radiator of my AIO. It is absolutely dirty. Uh, it hasn't been cleaned in probably a year. Um, but the dogs running around, this thing got really dirty. So I did some testing yesterday before I cleaned it and then after I cleaned it. So that'll be at the end of the video of the C if I got if the CPU temperatures dropped. And uh, it might surprise you. So let's get into it. Ooh, this thing is really dirty. Look at that. So this is one year, um, and this is with dogs. So this is pretty bad. Ugh. Let's get this thing cleaned up. Now that we have all the fans off, you can see this thing is extremely dirty. Let's get cleaned up. Okay, since I didn't want to take the pump and everything completely off because I didn't want to apply, um, I didn't want to reapply thermal paste. So just getting the Dyson out, bristle. Let's go to town. Now, as you can see, that did not get everything. There's still a lot of stuff in this radiator. So what we're gonna do is drop it. <laughs> okay, the next step, do not tell your wife that you're gonna use her hair or her blow dryer, but you need to set it on cool and that's max. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on the back side, so because the bulk of it is on this side, so we're going on the on the back side and to blow towards the dirty side, and then to get, make sure we get all the uh, dust, we're gonna be vacuuming on the dirty side, blowing on this side. So, looks like we need to, water would be the best, but I don't want to take this out of this. I didn't want to take it out. So, let's go grab a brush. This is just water, and we're going to soak it. Make sure you cover the thing up, because the ideal thing to do is take this completely out. but. I didn't have thermal paste on hand, and this thing really needed to clean in. Be careful on uh, bending your fans. Don't like, don't put too much pressure on this. Again with the hair dryer, make sure it's on cool. Okay, this is our end result. Um, now you can actually see through it. <laughs> so let's uh, let's get the fans back, or let's get the fans installed now.
Okay, so this is a before and after, and as you can see, there was around about five degrees difference, but what the biggest notice was the FPS because my CPU clock would stay at the 4.8. And as you can see on the before, it would clock down because it was just getting too much heat in it. Now that it's clean, clock speed is more consistent. Therefore, your frames are gonna be higher and more consistent.